Google recently introduced a new way to capture a screenshot on Android. This newer method involves opening up the Recents or Overview page, finding the application in this list that you want to capture a screenshot of, and then tapping the Screenshot button down there at the bottom left. Now this feature is quite handy as it doesn't require you to press two different hardware buttons at the same time, which can be difficult for some people. It also takes a screenshot that doesn't include the status bar at the top of the screen, and I know this has been a feature that many people enjoy. However, a new post to the Android subreddit shows that capturing a screenshot using the button in the Recents page lowers the quality of the image compared to if you had used the hardware buttons to save that image. Now I know this isn't going to be a big deal for some people. The convenience of that screenshot button paired with the removal of the status bar will definitely outweigh the negatives of a slightly lower quality image. But I also know that some people will want to capture the highest quality screenshot in some instances. So if you want the best quality screenshot on an Android, then you're going to want to use the hardware buttons to save that image. So for those who are not familiar with the hardware button combination on Android, you should know that you can save a screenshot of whatever is on your screen by pressing both the power button and the volume buttons at the same time. Most modern devices will save the image when you do a quick press of those two buttons. But on some older devices, mainly some older Samsung devices, you'll notice that you need to press and hold those two buttons down for a few seconds before the screenshot is actually saved. So as a reminder, if you are used to capturing screenshots using the Recents button here, and you've noticed that the image is a little bit smaller and a little bit blurry or out of focus. That is because the quality of the screenshot is lower when you use this button compared to if you use the hardware buttons to save that image.